Okay, so this video is going to help you kind of in um, working backwards almost with composite functions. In this case, we actually are given a composite function h of x, which is shown here. And we're supposed to take h of x and break that down into f of x and g of x. So it's working backwards. And I find that these functions are a lot of times kind of fun to do. It's like kind of like a puzzle trying to you know, figure out where you started, kind of go back to where you started. So looking at this function, do you see that you've got a function within a function? You've got this function x squared plus 1 right here. So that is your g of x. And then do you see that whole function x squared plus 1 is being raised to the 50th power? So your outer function f of x is just x to the 50th. And do you see that if you take f of g of x, you take g of x and plug it into the x in f of x, you get x squared plus 1 raised to the 50th power. So in this particular case, your g of x would be x squared plus 1, your f of x would be x to the 50th. Um, and here's a little bit of a diagram that kind of shows really what I'm talking about, that h of x is the actual composite function that is made up of g of x and f of x, where you take g of x, find what g of x is, and plug it into the x and f of x, and then you end up at the same place. And then here is another example. Um, we've got h of x is 3 over x minus 5 squared. So again, we want to try to figure out what is g of x, what is f of x. So do you see that x minus 5 is kind of our inside function? So if we look at g of x oops, as x minus 5, what would you say that f of x would be? Wouldn't you say that f of x would have to be 3 over x squared? So if g of x is x minus 5, then f of x is 3 over x squared, then you put the function back together. Ooh. When you put the function back together, do you see that you end up with 3 over x minus 5 squared? Another way to look at this, which would also be just as correct, is what if you called g of x x minus 5 squared? If you call g of x x minus 5 squared, what would your f of x be? f of x would have to be 3 over x instead of 3 over x squared. And do you see that if you have these two functions, if you plug if you to recreate f of g of x, or recreate, I don't know why I have extra parentheses there, but um, to recreate h of x, we would say we would take g of x and plug it into the x and f of x, and we get 3 over x minus 5 squared, which is also just as correct. So that is also h of x. So I hope that makes sense to you and see, and I hope that you can kind of see that these can be kind of fun, um, kind of like detective work. Um, hope that helps. I will see you tomorrow.